welcome back. What? Don't you just love that intro? I love it. You know, I made that myself. Um, <laughs> I'm lying. Uh, <laughs> with Danny, but uh, you know, all the, anim the animation and which. Okay. So, good morning. Welcome everybody all over the world and um, all of our military brothers. Yes. Whoops. I gotta turn my sound down here because it's. Um, I appreciate all the feedback and the emails and uh, you know different things, the ways of communication that you know you guys have uh, been you know supportive with uh, everything, man. And the one or two of you assholes who uh, <laughs> had negative stuff to say. I want to say this a couple of things. First of all, uh, we got in studio guests today. The show is. Um, Kind of um, the good, the bad, and the ugly on the rescue. We're gonna uh, try to wrap up and end this this whole negative, ugly, dark side of of the um, community, man. I gotta tell you, you know, um, is Paula here? Paula. Oh, oh, okay. Wendy, we don't need Wendy yet. Um, we're gonna. We, I need Paula first. Wendy, we're gonna get back to you. Um, um, so we're continuing. Where we were two weeks ago, you know, um, we had guests in and statements were made and claims were made and accusations were made and all kinds of stuff was made, um, except for my bed. Nobody, you know, it's like I, and it was great. And I didn't air it. I'm going to air it. I'm going to just try to combine it with this and do the whole thing, you know. But um, so... All our guests are on our way. We got people scheduled like every 30 minutes or something, you know, so it doesn't turn into a total free fall. Uh, um, Lamore is coming in at uh, in about 45 minutes. Sharon is on her way. She should be here in 15 minutes. Sharon uh, Logan, I'm pretty sure it is because I, I, I need a scorecard to keep up with all of what's been happening. Hey there, Archer. Welcome you in the house. And I know you're there. I just can't hear you. So, um, but let me say this, and I'll wait until I got ears on. Am I plugged in already? Yes. Oh. Hello? Archer? Can't you can't hear me? Uh, Paula, turn your mute off. <laughs> hello, hello. Okay. Hello, hello. Well, is the button up? Yeah. Okay. See, like I can operate a board. No. Okay. Hello, hello. Oh, there you are. How are you, dear? Oh, I'm a little stressed. I've been without internet for the past few days. Well, uh, not completely out, but uh -huh. it's been very sketchy going um, in and out. And I haven't been able to be on here to get my show stuff done. So uh -huh. I'm a little Herod this morning. Shame on you. Okay, but listen, let me tell you, everybody is on their way, first of all, right? So you you are you know, okay. you didn't miss anything. I wanna say this, um well you know, where where do I start? You know? Um for, Well, first of all, we didn't get beat up too bad this week. You know, it's a whole bunch of people and I don't understand it, you know, but we that's why we're here. We're getting rid of the hate. It's all about love. So um, I want to say this because it's, it's funny, okay? I, I, I got forwarded so many PMs and so many people talking about our last Tuesday show, right? Um, and, you know, at least... 30 people had something to say about what was said on the show. And I, out of the 30 people that said that, only one of them actually saw the show. And other ones only saw one, maybe one hour, maybe 45 minutes. Um, 
And Sharon, who's coming in, actually, actually saw about, you know, the, the bigger chunk of it, you know? And I really appreciate this lady for coming in here and standing up. And, you know, her name was mentioned and she was talking about, talked about. And the people who came in here uh, who said that they had been the victims of those bullies and different things. They, you know, I appreciate all of you guys for participating, standing up, because I don't know. You know, I'm not a rescue and I haven't participated in the, the mud slinging. But. I got a couple of solutions because since the whole thing went down, we've done extensive uh, investigating. We've got more documents. And I got to take my bandana and hat off to uh, the rescue community, Paula, because it is probably 70% women, you know, uh, on, the, on the front. And we talk about that later. Why? I don't know. But... I want to thank you guys for being open because it has just been this with this whole bully mentality, Paula. It's been a secret whole thing, and everybody's giving me information. I mean, I've had more, more in private conversations. People sent me more documents. People have sent me proof of everything because the one thing is this: it's a large community, but it's a small community, and. Uh, everybody was friends at some point and you know things went to shit and different things happened and personalities that's the thing that you get Paula and I'm gonna be very sexist here for a second that's the thing when you get when you get a bunch of women together you know? <laughs> <'Cause> he, <laughs> you know all that personality conflicts and egos and I don't like him to her and her to boot you know and guys Guys would just be like, fuck you, and the guys would punch it out or, or you know, have guys that get serious and, and they don't do the same kind of a, I don't know, you know, but women do, they, they're a little fighting when you can, you know, and it lasts longer, you know? It's like, like me and uh, Kyle, Kyle called me and it cussed me out. I wasn't on the phone, you know, about some, our own shit, right? And he left me a really fucked up message, you know? <laughs> And I was like, damn, dude. And I just texted him back, you know, hey, man, you got something to say to me. Call me. And we worked that shit out. It's like overdone. We cool, right? But I could see where if that was some female stuff, it could go on and on and on, you know? But, so, but I noticed that as the difference, you know, because the community at whole is good. So this is what I want to say, all right, because I'm going to let you do some dogs and we get some dogs from homes before um, everybody gets here um I, I i've studied the problem and and i see what it is because you know um what is being per perceived as bullies and in a lot of cases is and and trolling and stuff i could give less than a shit what I'm about is the dogs. And Paula, for the first time since, it, you know, and people that say, oh, this guy, I don't know. Look at our shows. Look at our history. Okay? We had two and a half years of doing this. I've never had, and so Paula, since you got involved, have you ever seen a subject or a show that took us into the darkness that this has? The pits of the pit bulls <laughs> conversation with the pit bull show this has been incredible hasn't it yes it's uh, been very dark and most <laughs> of our shows are um entertainment through you know <coughs> entertainment while we're educating so this mm -hmm. has been uh this has been uh a nightmare it actually. really yeah it's been hard but we we the you know, it's a silver cloud inside the darkness or whatever. The, however that is, every storm is a silver cloud. Well, first of all, let me say this. Um, because of this, we picked up a lot of new fans, a couple of not-so-fans. You know, but, hey, we want to thank you new people. That's right, for watching today. <clears throat> welcome, welcome. And, you know, and if you feel with negativity and hate, you don't have to come back. But we're glad you're here today. Um, it's a couple of things. One, I'm on a positive note, the uh, protest L.A. Um, 
you know, Brenda Barnett and uh, Mayor, Mayor Garcetti at his house. What a wonderful protest that was. What wonderful people. Man, everybody in the Los Angeles area, you guys around the country, I swear, Paula, uh, I'm really sad y'all couldn't make it because it was a wonderful thing just to see the animal community come, especially after all of this drama, right? To see the animal community come together as one behind something. You could see the power in numbers. You could see the power in love for the animals. You know, you could see where, where we can be effective. <clears throat> so that gave me and uh on friday we'll probably you know i'll bring in the video because i did interviews and talked to a bunch of people but we picked up a bunch of fans out there man it was like 150 people paula and uh paul and michael you know told the people at the end about you know our show and what we do and a lot of people said that they've been watching you know and they said they enjoyed it. It's like entertaining, and they don't usually watch web stuff, and they watch the whole show, and they did it. I'm like, wow. And uh, so that was, that was really nice, I got to admit. So what we want to do is this. I've, you know, after talking to people and seeing that the community as a whole and individually uh, is full of great people, you know, people who are concerned. There are one or two angry people that I think they need to go to the doctor for hormones and, and um, estrogen and whatever else. What is it? Menopause, when you guys have, you know, different stuff going on. I, don't, I can't relate, so I'm not going to even try to, you know, but that's the issue that I think that, you know, you could speak on, Paula. I can't, but I see it's stuff, it's stuff that makes people upset and angry at, that normally wouldn't send them over the edge, but they go like ape shit. So, so if, you, if you didn't respond to having a chance to speak up and uh, not defend yourself, just um, talk about what you've been doing in the past, because I'm... Every, there is no defense for a lot of this stuff because everybody has done everything. You know, it's the reason behind it. So this is what I want to do. <clears throat> um, I'm a firm believer in I'm not trying to accuse people, wipe out the trolls, wipe out the bullies and all that stuff. Forget about it. There, there is a need for um, the rescue police, for <laughs> you know, for lack of a better term, Paula. There is a need uh, because of anything where is this money to be made in on the rescue on these dogs because I've gotten into the whole thing now and I, I'm seeing where the flaws are, the holes, and um, the animals can't speak up for themselves. See, if there's a dog to be rescued, he can't talk and tell everybody what happened and these people did this to him and it didn't and whatever. If there's money, people going, you know, going ape shit for the pledges, people going ape shit for the adoption fees and all these other things. If there's people doing wrong, we need to police their asses. You know, people, we can't have bad rescues, man. We just can't have that, you know. And and as I said, individually, that's what people are trying to not have. Everyone wants to to make the community as good as it can. So, but what happens is we have these DNA lists and we have these people who, and I applaud them for actually taking the time to be um, watchdogs and, you know, oversee, sort of just pay attention to what's going on out there in the community. So this is my solution is that you guys police yourselves. You know, some, we need somebody to police the police, right? Because just like in, you know, what happens is these people take on this God complex. They become just like police officers. You allow somebody to walk, to have a little power, and it goes to their head. You know, a cop walking around with a gun, they go, you know, they get to the point where they feel like a uh, phone is ringing, Chris. Then nobody can talk to them, so they have to go and, uh, you know, they start, they shoot people unnecessarily. So what I'm asking is for, because I talk to everybody, everybody has individually shown me and told me how and where. And so all we have to do is help the people who have taken the time to try to be the rescue police and keep them from going crazy. And the way we do that is, it, is by the alarm clock going off. No, the way we do that... <laughs> is um, as individuals. This, so this is what we're going to do, Paula. Boom, drum roll, right? We're starting a new segment of this show. 
uh, and I don't know whether we'll do it once a week, probably not, uh, once a month. And it's going to be called Screenshots. It's going to be called Screenshots. And I'm asking everybody in the community, in the rescue community, to take screenshots of the hate talk. See, because this is the problem, Paula. People have to be held responsible for what they say and what they put out there. You can't just destroy somebody's reputation. Uh, you can't just claim, make claims to, about people and not be responsible for it. So what I, I do want people to be watchdogs, but I want the watchdogs to be careful who you slander. Be careful. Be, be more responsible, actually, about what you write down. Because, see, the way it's been in the past is you could write anything on Facebook in the, on a thread and not be held accountable for it. It ain't a big deal. So people have gotten crazy, keyboard nuts. But if you guys start taking screenshots, send them in to us. I will read them back. And I've checked this out legally. I can do that. I will read the names. I will read exactly what was said. And we will all see. The world will see. What is going on? You know, we will show. So if if you slander somebody, if you put their, um, you talk about their their kids, you talk about their mama, their daddy, if, which has nothing to do with rescue. Uh, we want to stop the bad rescues, period. We got to do that. I'm 150% on board with that. You understand that, right, Paula? Yep. Yeah, we got we can't have bad rescues, period, you know, and just because you're a 501 C, that don't mean shit, you know, and just because if you're not a 501 C, it don't mean nothing. You know, people are making money, you know, well, I'm not making money. I'm see, I'm yeah, somebody's making, but people are receiving money that aren't 501 C's. But it don't matter. They're doing great work. They're doing hard work. The rescue community, that's some hard work, man. That's why I can't do it. That's why I'm doing this, because this is what I do, and this is what I can do. So I'm offering that as a suggestion. Does that make sense, Paula? Yes, because it's about the dogs, not the fighting. So right. That makes perfect sense to me. Who is it? Oh, okay. It's somebody on the phone. Put them, put them through. Let me see. Hello, who's on the phone? Hi, Foster. This is Carrie Powell. Hey, Carrie. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. We we aren't into the into the show show yet. We're waiting on our guests to show up and everybody come in, you know. And then we're gonna do um, we're gonna get into the who did, how did, where did, what did. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. And okay, so should I just wait for a call from you, or? Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna. Yep. Uh, don't give your phone number out. I got it in my phone. That's the five four something, right? Five four one. Ah, yeah. Bye 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 bye. Yeah. Don't don't put it out there in the world, cause we got people that love us in Iraq and in Paris and you know in Toledo, but we got three assholes in Pittsburgh. That, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh so, yeah. All right. So so uh so yeah, we'll call you back, all right? Okay, I'm gonna go back on and watch. Yeah, go back on and watch and listen and then and if I call for you, if I say Carrie, call in now, okay? You got it. Because it's gonna be a it's gonna be a, a nice long show, you know, and uh, and those of you that won't get to watch it all now, don't worry about it. Go ahead and go to work, man, and keep that job. And you'll be able to see it on the archive. All right, Carrie, talk to you in a second. Okay, All great. Right. Who that? Oh. Oh, okay. You got the name though, right? All right. The no. Pretty, pretty lady. <laughs> hey, pretty lady. Everybody's pretty, damn it. Okay. Uh, they. I told you, seventy percent women, so they're all beautiful to me. You know, it's just a matter. It's a couple of ugly dudes have been rescued up. I'm not gonna talk about them though. You know, because I know it's hard. Uh, but anyway, um, going back to my point, uh, Paula, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta weed out the bullshit and you know and the only thing because the at the end of the day all this whole hubba bubba started because people are just making the personal attacks it's all business 
it's a, it's really clear cut, I think. Are you helping the dogs or are you hurting the dogs? I think, right, Paula? That's what it is for me. Yeah, it's that simple, you know. It's like, you know, I talked to uh, a guy this morning. He's getting up, going. It's like he gets up at 4.30, man, start dealing with the dogs and doing what you got to do and do, to do, to do, to do. You know, it's like... When you walk out there, man, if you run in a rescue, you know, and you're trying to place dogs at fosters and... Oh, that's the other thing. Damn it. Paula. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Because I'm tired of this subject, right? What I want to do the show, and we need everybody out there. We want to do uh, a, a week or two on fosters. You know, so we're going to do the Foster on Fosters show. Okay? I want... Because, see, that's at the root of what all these people are... You know, they're spending time arguing and fighting, and he said, she said, I want to support, because the fostering is at the root of all of this. You know, people need to understand how important it is, and, and you know, you and the rescue community needs support and needs help educating people. So I need the, the rescues to identify for us some of your best fosters over the years, you know, the people who've been there for you and the people who've had wonderful experiences helping support your rescue with fostering, then we need, we need to know who those people are, Paula and I do. And if we can set them up to Skype them in um, and, or bring them in the studio or have them on the phone and whatever. Even you can do some video and send it in for them. But we want to have, uh, you know, we want to do something for fostering. So what it would do for you guys is when you're trying to get new fosters, you know, and people are saying, well, what is fostering? Instead of having to go through a long spiel that they may not get anyway, you could just send them a link to one of our YouTube, you know, archive shows. The fa Does that make sense, Paula? Yes, it does. Yes. It would be very helpful, I'm sure, to a lot of the rescues and a lot of the people that don't understand that actually fostering a dog saves a life. Yeah, you know, and so... You know, it's just that just the whole concept of, um, you know, fostering and love, you know, and maybe that, you know, that's why, you know, my, they use the name fostering because that's me, you know, and, <laughs> and and it fits right in with my vibe. You know, it's just all about the love, man. And, you know, bringing in, you know, bringing it together. So the whole foster and I get so many damn tags on Facebook for you know being having a name foster is a curse because you know i've had you know paula over the years people get mad at me because i tell them i don't foster well why is your name foster if you don't foster dogs why are you it's like well because <laughs> my mother did it you know it's like it has nothing to do it ain't personal i'm not trying to you know do something to uh, rescue and uh, I wasn't named for Facebook, you know. So um, and so let's do this. It's um, we got we're almost uh, you know 20 minutes, 30 minutes in. Uh, let's save some dogs, Paula. Let's show you guys kind of you know support what you do. So these dogs, these aren't your dogs, Paula. These are dogs that other people around the country have come to you and this show and asked you to work with, right? Yes, but I'm about ready to put my six on here for adoption. <laughs> yeah, crazy. right. And then you'll be running down the, the highway chasing somebody. No, I changed my mind, please. You know, no, we're not going to do that. So uh, whose dogs do you have? Uh, let's see. Uh, well, Chris, are you ready? Uh-oh, you hit a button. Uh-oh. Who? Wendy? Okay. Uh, you tell Wendy. Wendy, if you're listening, just a few more minutes, babe. Don't go away. We, we, we're going to save some dogs' lives, and, um, and we'll get it going. All right, you guys go ahead. Okay, Chris, if you're ready, the first picture is a photo of four dogs. Um, in the top left-hand corner, that's Jinx. 
he was rescued from a breeder then abandoned by the people getting evicted jinx is a big boy and all he wants is to be loved and love someone back he's approximately two years old now to the right is diamond Oh, Diamond, it appears, was a Craigslist dog. Diamond was free to a good home with a sign. She does need vet care for her spaying. She's the only one in need of vetting of these four dogs. Uh, lower left corner, sadly, Daisy came from a, an abuse situation. She is an owner surrender. She is two years old, very friendly, and she is excellent with kids. Now we have Sadie in the lower right corner. Sadie was found on the side of the road lactating. Sadly, her puppies were nowhere to be found. These three have been vetted, uh, three have been vetted and are now sitting in boarding. This, as we all know, is no place for them. Uh, help is needed with their medical care and boarding. If you are interested in any of these beautiful pets, please PM Bonnie Gage on Facebook, and that is with Forever Homeward Bound Rescue, Tampa, Florida. Now the next photo we have, and you've seen these pups before, they are in Cali City Shelter. Uh, they're <clears throat> full, they need help. Uh, desperately getting these dogs adopted. The This one is Diamond. She is a pit bull lab mix. She is a very sweet girl. She's shy at first, but she's very friendly. Surrendered because she doesn't do well with cats. And I have a couple of those myself. So anyway, uh, the next one is Susie. She's an unaltered Staffordshire Bull Terrier. She's about three years old. She really wants to be a lap dog, and despite her small size, she's a bit, she likes to snuggle, and she is looking for a wonderful new home, and she has much love to give. Next, we have Izzy, and I love Izzy. I'm in love with her. Uh, Izzy is eight months old. Uh, she was an owner surrender because the older dogs weren't getting along with her. <sighs> she is very active and playful, but also very gentled, and she is good-mannered. She is a happy puppy, and she would do well in a home where she can be kept busy. Next up, we have Dallas, whose real name is Chico. Um, he is a neutered pit bull mix. He was surrendered because he was not good with the owner's small dogs. He was well cared for and well loved and his owner speaks quite highly of him in a note that was left behind. Chico is a wonderful dog. He just needs a better home. Next we have Penelope. She's unaltered, a staffy mix, approximately three years old. She was found as a stray. Her nose, as you can see, is a little sunburnt, but she is otherwise in great health and has wonderful manners. Someone has loved her enough to work with her, and we hope that she is reclaimed. If not, we hope that she finds a very loving home. Now, the last one in this first set of dogs today is Davy. This sweet boy came in with Dolly. He is very loving, a very affectionate young dog. Um, he is uh, no more than 18 months old and he is available. Uh, these dogs are at California City Shelter. Their address is 5000 Lindbergh Street, California City, California. The shelter is open daily, 8 to 12. Their phone number is 760-373-1400. And that concludes our first set of dogs for today. All right, all right. That's a wonderful thing. All right, so I just got a update, and um, and that's look. Lamar is in traffic, and ooh, excuse me, and um, so is Sandra. So um, we had a couple of people hit me. So let's go to the telephone, Paula. Unless you got something that you want to say before that. 
I don't have anything to say right at the moment. Okay. <clears throat> uh, um, uh, Wendy, you still out there? Just keep holding. Um, uh, cause, um, well, most of the stuff for Wendy has, um, got to be when it's somebody in here, but we can go to Wendy in a minute, I guess, and just start the conversation, bring Wendy in. Uh, is Wendy got group Skype? Okay. So she doesn't have group Skype. So I would have to drop you, Paula, and you know how bad I hate doing that. You know, yes, so, so you miss me. yeah, so I uh, cause I just need some, you know, uh, left and right input. That's the bottom. OK. Hey, um, we have a fan of the show, a friend of the show. And even if not a friend of the show, uh, just someone who's concerned and, um, you know, with this issue and talking about what's happening in the community. So let's, um, you know, add her to the conversation. Hello. Hey, how are you? Who's this? Lisa, one of your favorites. Oh, uh, that's Lisa Cowan, right? Yes, it is. As opposed to Cohen. <laughs> exactly, okay. yeah. Okay, great. So, Lisa, talk to me this morning. What's happening? What can you add to the, you know, you got something to contribute to this conversation? Oh, I'm just kind of hoping that after today, maybe there's some resolution and everything can end. And um, But I'm agreeing with your, you know, what we... Um, the whole re police, the rescue police. It, right. it does definitely need to happen. Yeah, if 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 people aren't allowed to just write down whatever they want to write down, and 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 act like it's true, you know, stand behind it like it's like it's a reality, and you don't even know that person. Have you seen That's that? True. Have you? Trust me, I had that happen to me yesterday. Really? Tell. I mean, can you talk about it at all? Um. Yeah. Okay. I'd love to. Okay, cuz you know, we 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 can talk about anything. We don't care cuz you know, they they don't have to like me. You know, as a matter of fact, I like it a little bit more when they don't like me <laughs> because, you know, I don't have to act like I'm a fr you know, uh people yeah. th you know, I'm not, I'm not a fake friend. See, if you if you friends with Foster then you're going to get the both sides of Foster. You know, I, I, people have said, the best thing about me is I don't lie and I don't bullshit and I don't hold my tongue. The worst thing yeah, about... Yeah, that's, that's my problem. Yeah, the worst thing about me is I don't lie, I don't bullshit, and I don't hold my tongue. So, you know, it's a truth. I'm sorry, Chris. I, I'm, I'm, I'm working Chris to death here. He's got, like, six jobs, so he's Skyping, he's mixing audio, he's answering phones, he's got sound effects. To his so uh, tell us, tell me, what's happening to you recently? Oh, do you remember that, uh, the screenshots I sent you yesterday with uh -huh. that crazy lady? Yeah. Just because I wasn't, like, attacking a rescue and told her, you know, because, like I said, I used to, I used to do that. I, I used to partake in that. And because this woman, you know, what was her name? Elizabeth, mm -hmm. that crazy lady. Mm -hmm. um, because I just said, you know, why don't you just pick up the phone and talk to this person versus sitting here, you know, saying all this bad stuff about him all over Facebook. Right. And, and the lady was actually insulting the other lady um, on the rescue page. Right. So to all of the rescue page's followers. Right. You know, See? and I made a comment like saying, have you picked up the phone and, you know, reached out to this individual and tried to talk to her? Right. Because I have. Right. I have. And they said, weren't you one of the, you know, people that were attacking her a couple of months ago? And I said, yeah, you're right. I was. And I was an asshole. Oh, you know? oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Roll that tape back. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again. I said I was, and I was an asshole, and I own it. Damn! Wow, Paula, do we have a? Uh, uh, damn, we got any horns? Or anything? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! We got an honest person, Paula. We have somebody that admitted. See, and you know what? We applaud you for that, and and it's okay, because you know, well, yeah. you're not the first but, but human being. This crazy lady. You know, she started like, I don't know, threatening me because she said she was a, not threatening me, I take that back. She started um, 
how do you want to say it? You know, flapping off at the mouth because she's apparently some attorney. And I said, I don't care who you are. No, hey, I'll you tell know? you what the word is bully, boo. It's, oh, yeah. It's bullying. She's trying but to then, bully. Uh, you know, read that crap she was sending me like about my family. Oh. You know, she started saying, you know, I'm sorry that you weren't raised right. I'm sorry, uh, something talking about my dad. S- and, oh, wait a minute. Like, Listen. Wait a minute. You sent that to me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna read that on the air. Okay, we'll That's do. Okay. We'll hold that. Yeah, we'll. We might do it today because I'm not totally set up for it. Because you know we got everybody's yeah. coming in, but that is going in our screenshots <laughs> log. Okay, and I'm gonna. Oh, what I'm gonna I got do. Lots of screenshots. Yeah. Well, we're gonna work them. I'm, everybody does. Believe me, the community. Yeah, something I think you need to talk on uh, with screenshots. Sure. Because um, you know, like I, I said, they can be fake, mm-hmm. you know, and, and I'm the first person, I'm probably the only person, like we talked about over the phone, there was a certain individual um, with myself that actually, and, you know, I'd probably get bashed for this now, but it was a year and a half ago, and I've already, you know, paid for it and admitted it, unlike the other people. Mm-hmm. Um, you can create fake screenshots. Okay. So, so I always say, unless the person has, like, the evidence, like I do, where you can hold your iPhone and scroll up and hit that contact button and that details button and actually show that that phone will ring the other person's phone so it's not a fake text message. You have to really be careful with the screenshots because, unfortunately, a lot of people don't realize, you know, on Facebook it's one thing because anybody can create a fake profile and create a fake conversation. Right. And on the other, they can change the names in the phone. Like, I can have your phone number... You know, and and make it say, you know, like I'm having a conversation with Gandhi if I want to. You know, and that's where you have to kind of really weed out those fake conversations. That's, yeah. Well, we got and So we need a two-person verification? Yes, I think so. Okay. Okay. And I'm just saying that because I, I've done it, and I will own it, and I right. did it with somebody. Right. See, I told you about that. Yeah, that's why. It. Absolutely. Well, that's why we're, we're doing this. uh I'm doing a PSA for this commercial. I mean, a uh, PSA commercial for this show. And and it's going to be uh, for, um, you know, um, Trolls and Bullies Anonymous. Yeah, I call them ticks. Yeah. Like trolls and Sarge. You know, I just call them a bunch of ticks. Yeah, so they can, <laughs> so, so they can you know, uh, there's help for you, you know. And, yeah. and you know, so so people like you, you know. Uh, you know, can we can we can legitimately say, you know, you're not yeah, alone. You, make- you know, our counselors used to be the same way themselves. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yes. Yeah, you know so. what? And that's the difference is I own it, and you know yeah, how I you- to Lamar because I knew about all that stuff and I participated in it in a year and a half ago. Yeah. And like you know, I own it. I was a complete. You know, I'm, I'm not looking for anything other than at least I'm telling the truth. Yeah, you know, exactly. That's a lot of people, and how much better do you feel, huh? Well, you know, I mean, honestly, last week on that group PM that we were all in, yeah, because I posted a screenshot of something that, you know, even little Miss Desiree was involved in, mm. and um, I got booted out from the PM. Oh, I believe that. Hey, hey. You know? I t- oh, fuck. Soon as I hung up from with those people, when I heard some shenanigans going on in the background with phones and stuff, I started getting all kinds of phony phone calls and stuff, you know. But that's okay, you know. I'm a big boy. Plus, I got ways to work stuff, and you know. So I, I'm a major karma believer. I'm oh, yeah. a major karma believer. And one thing, see that what these people on Facebook don't get in terms of the the uh, animal community. When the difference between messing with and bullying uh, the people on the little thread PMs that they've been doing over the couple of years and getting away with the little crap, the difference between them and, and starting shit with me is I got five hours a week of airwaves that go all, exactly. o- all over the world, and I will use them to take care of problems in the animal community, I'm a I'm a pit bull for 
taking care of the dogs. I want to make it a better world, period. And if you get in the way of that and you want to try to come after me for some shit, believe me, I will fight back. I'm a Vietnam vet, a street gang dude, you know. Mama sent me to the best schools. I'm educated, but boy, I can get down in the mud and wait. So yeah, no, and, and yesterday <laughs> that's I was... it. And I want to come off. I'm... Paula, is that threatening? No. Oh, okay. I mean, because I ain't threatening anybody. I'm promising, motherfuckers. <laughs> you yeah, know? That's what I always I'm say. Promising... You know, yesterday when I ain't I'm me... promising you. I will. I will. You know, we're gonna weed it out. We're gonna make it a better community, and not me. You guys, I'm just helping. That's what I'm here for. Let me go to the phone. We have another caller calling in. Hello? Who's that? Who's that? Hello, it's Carrie. Hey, Carrie, how are you? I'm doing good. Okay. And so um, you can, if you want to, you can give us your last name if you care to. And uh, we, yeah. we have a verification yeah. process, too, ladies and gentlemen. Let me, let me tell you that now around here. You know, we're not just taking... Uh, you know, blanket claims, even though we can. But I've checked out different things that people, like I said, the community is good. I've got more stuff in my emails, in my phone, where people screenshots is a hell of a thing. And it's a lot of people want things to change. So many people said, Foster, please don't stop doing what you're doing. I don't know how to help you because they ain't going to like that you're exposing this. But, you know, don't stop. And so... Um, but before you, you go on, Carrie, let me play my, uh, favorite little speech about. Yeah. Go for it. Hey, are you tired of those same old energy drinks with bad taste? Make a switch to Pitbull Energy Drink with a guaranteed no aftertaste. Pitbull offers more energy with ginseng and vitamins B6 and B12. With a ginger ale, lemon lime flavor, Pitbull meets the consumer's demand for better tasting and healthier energy products with a guaranteed no aftertaste. Make a switch to Pitbull Energy Drink. Pitbull offers more energy with ginseng and vitamins B6 and B12. With a ginger ale, lemon lime flavor, Pitbull meets the consumer's demand for better tasting and healthier energy products. For more information on Pitbull energy drinks, bars, and mixes, visit their website at hiphopbev.com. That's hiphopbev.com. Online orders available at hiphopbev.com. All right, yeah, see, yeah, hiphopbev.com, Pitbull Energy Drink, guys. This is the this is one of the things besides, you know, Paula going out there and, you know, holding that yeah. ho- holding that bucket, you know, outside City Hall in most of the in the capital of Alabama. What's the capital of Alabama, Paula? Yeah, Tuscaloosa. <laughs> Miami. <I> think- <laughs> I think Paul and I have have worked together on some dogs. Um, Is that right? In the past. I've been on Facebook. I'm doing this for six years. Six years? Well, well, Carrie, wait a second, because it was something else I wanted to play. Okay. All right. Listen to this closely, all of my love people out there. The views and comments expressed on the following radio program by his hosts and their guests do not necessarily reflect the views of rmconair.com or its affiliates. Listener discretion is advised. (laughs) Okay, so basically, you know, this is this is adult programming and nobody, you know, um, feels this way but me and what our guests say. They okay to say that. That's their views and their opinions. So go ahead, Carrie. Okay. Um, I, like I said, I've been on Facebook for six years, rescuing and um, fostering dogs. And um, I've got two rescues here. One I've got from Florida. One I got from California. I now work with a a Rottweiler rescue, and um, we do take in um, pit bulls. Um, Thank you. And uh, and breeds, and there is 
I read on Facebook. I mean, they even have golden retrievers down as a bully breed and Irish Sutters. Hmm. And I never, ever had a problem, ever. And I don't know if it's okay for me to put names out there or sure, not. Sure, put names out there because we do checking, yeah. So, so I would preface that, yes, put names out there. But so anybody, so let I, me say this. Let me I, say, let me, um, uh, Carrie. Yes. Before you do, let me say this: that I can't, uh, um, I can't say what you're saying is true until I check, you know, the evidence. And you, no problem. It, right, okay, and I check, but and anything that you do say, anybody about, because we are about people standing up for what they do, just like um, um. Um, Lisa just said, you know, she stands up, oh, yeah. you know, she stands up for what she does and what she says and everything. So, so go right ahead. So, yes. So, um, uh, Donna, uh, I was helping out, um, a friend mm -hmm. that is a rescuer and you know her as well. You know her really well. Probably. I do. And um, who is it? Donna Barone. Oh, Donna Barone. Yes. And hold on one second. We just had a studio guest come in. Okay, go ahead. She, yeah, she can come over here afterwards. Or uh, now, even now. Okay, go ahead. So you were helping Donna Barone. I, I was actually helping Melina. Oh, okay, you were helping Melina Popovich. Yes, and Donna Barone came on my. Um, she texted me and she was trying to kind of sway me over to um their their side um it's it's kind of like there's two sides on this thread and um we made it so it, we're we're weeding out the trolls <laughs> are trying to trying to be the the rescue police um and like I said, I've never had a problem until I talked to her. And when I disagreed with her, then a week later, I got a call from a guy in California named Juan Martinez. And he insisted on getting my name. I wouldn't give it to him, so I hung up. He called back. I let it go to my message. And so I have that that I can send to you. And um, he said, hey, babe, I fucked you for $50. What? Whoa, and, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Right. Roll I'm back. Like, I'm like, what the hell? Wait a minute. He, uh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I missed something. Did you offer yourself to one of her friends? No. No, no, no. Hmm. Never. Okay. This guy called me out of the blue. So it's as soon like, as you saying as soon as you disagree with someone, you start getting yes. yeah. Then the next week, I I got a a crank call from him, and the third time he called back, I let my husband answer it, uh, and my husband went off, and wow. he hasn't called back. Wow. But. That is the only. That's terrorism. Yeah, that's that's the only. Um, that's terrorism. Prank phone call that I've ever that, had on fa Facebook or problem really. Um, in a, in all the years. Anybody. Yeah. Right. Well, I know. I can. I. I'm telling you. You know. But but we gonna we gonna work on this. You know. It's because again, this is not the first time that. You know that Donna's name has come up. Uh, no. You know, and you know this, and that's what I say. You know, it's a, I think what it what happens is a power thing because some you know so many people who I respect have said some good things about Donna. You know, this same same Donna because it's a lot of Donnas. But the same one it said good things. But what happens? is when you get that Caesar complex, you know, when you reach the point where, you know, it's kind of like rappers, you know, Justin Bieber had to be pulled back, you know, when you just, when nobody tells you no, when you think you can just do 
whatever you want and exactly it it becomes it's sick you know and we get caught up you know and and i i admire lisa so much and um and even sharon has just arrived at the studio you know the people Good. who can own uh your life and what you've done and you know because we've all done something lord knows you know i mean i don't have a um the whole oh, I'm you know, not an angel. Yeah, right. You know, it's and you know, so it's. Not, you know what's interesting though? What's um, that, Liz? You know, it's like see, there's different people coming into your show right now who apparently might have a disagreement, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But they've never met. So, for example, right. say that they're in the same traffic hour. They're on the same, you know, same <laughs> destination going to the show. That person that you're fighting with on Facebook that you've right. never met face to face right that same person that just let you in front of them in traffic yeah you know and did something very nice and then you get in and then you're back to fighting it's like you don't even know each other you know half the people that are fighting yeah they've never met they know i know well donna brown and i she she has helped me um rescue dogs and network dogs and stuff like that Mm mm-hmm and I've never had a problem with her until um, until yeah. all this stuff happened. And then the next week to get that crank call. It turned into um, Snake City. I was floored. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. As many are, you know, that's the whole thing. And, you know, it's just, it, it's got to just, the police, you know, we have to police the police. That's all. In any situation, we all it takes a village, you know, and we have to help keep it the, does. help keep the good people grounded so that they don't you know, end up corrupt, you know, and keep the perspective and just come with some responsibility, you know. We we all have to have some sort of um, responsibility for what we say and do. On, exactly. On, you know, you can't just, you know, ruin. And I've asked Donna to come on this show, and maybe at some point she will, you know. Um, but, you know, we'll see. But I think, you know, she basically got to be a good person, hands down, no doubt about it. She's trying to fight to keep the the rescues right. That's the main part of what she's doing, and. And I appreciate that. You know, like I said, it's needed. Uh, we have to do that. I, you know, take my hat off. Yeah. To it. But you can't become Caesar. You know, you can't be- no. become, you know, this so self-righteous and such a, you know, a power well, yeah. artist. You can't nobody agree with me. And then because you take those minions, the movie, the minions. <laughs> yeah. You know, you got your little minions yep. with you and, you know, the people who have respect for you because of, you know, your history. And uh, they, you know, you when you say stuff, p- people take it as truth and they want to believe it. And then when they find out that it's not, then you lose credibility. And, exactly. And then the whole system starts to crash. So we can't afford to lose rescuers. We can't afford to lose um, supporters, we can't afford to lose fosters. And if this doesn't work, too, um, you know, Carrie, Lisa, and everybody, Paula, and everyone listening, if this doesn't work, if, if the community can't police itself and, you know, we can't make screenshots work, then I'm going to have to take the position because I'm working for the dogs, you know, and dogs are going to die either way if, you know, it ain't happening. Well, that's what's happening. It's like oh, yeah. everybody is fighting on this thread yeah. and the dogs and and, he, and the cats, too, and are, the cats. are paying the ultimate price. That's right. So what I'm going to do is I'll give it a while, Paula, and I don't know. I'm not putting a clock on it or anything, but I'm going to just sit back and see. If we can stop people, bring the tension down. So forget what happened last year, two years from now, a year from now, six months from now, even last week, yesterday. I'll forget how many people were bashing. Because, you know, Paula, we were supposed to have 15 people in studio on this show. I don't know if you heard. (laughs) But that's just part of the whole people feeling free to say and type whatever they want to type on, you know, and 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 there was a whole big hubbity bub people getting their blood pressure up over something that wasn't even true, you know, that they typed. So 
if you yeah. guys can't police yourselves, then I'm going to probably move to the next step and help start, you know, turning people off from, you know, um, helping give you money, you know, uh, let the general public understand. Stop supporting these people, you know, because they're total, total out of control. They're not, you know, um, the the money that's going for to pull dogs and all of this stuff, all of these donations. I ask people to stop doing that, and then that'll hit you all in the pocket. You know, that'll cut off your revenue, and then you really got some problems. Then you really have some shit to talk about. So right now, I'm a champion. I am trying to. Uh, ask you to help and ask you to use me the best way we can all work together to help the situation, to help the dog. But if it's going to continue to go spiral into the darkness, then, you know, we'll just have to turn the light on in another yeah, way. Oh, yeah, exactly. And yeah. and I don't, I, I don't make, I don't make any money for what I do. Um, so here's to you. Mm. Um, and I don't ask for any money for what I do. Mm-hmm. I do it for the dogs. Mm-hmm. And um, if I have to drive all the way to Salem to pick up a dog, um, I will do that. And um, like I said, I, I don't I don't get any money out of this. I I don't ask for any money, or I just I do it for the dogs. I mean, right. I I spent five days trying to catch a min pen and had to trap him and nobody on the, my whole street would help me and uh, and there's a dog motel down the road and the lady um, that runs it mm-hmm. she said since you caught since you spent so much time trying to catch this min pen um, I will I will pay for the shots and his tax. And I thought that was really awesome of her to to step up like that. Um, she wasn't even, she's not even in the rescue business. Um, but, but she took money out of her own pocket and paid for Paco's shots. Hmm. Well. And um, okay. we need more people like that. Yeah. So, hey, I'm going to move on um, now. Thank you so much, Carrie, for calling. Thank you, Foster, for everything that you've done and everything you're doing. Yeah. I'm just the servant of the dogs. Just think of me as that pit bull in the next cage over, you know? I'm just trying to, trying to avoid getting that big needle, Paula, you know? Oh, yeah, definitely. That's Most a, definitely. Yeah. So, so. Hey, Foster, can I say something? No, not at all. Absolutely. You called yeah. the wrong place for that. No. Yeah. <laughs> Go right ahead. Uh, okay. So here's one thing that mm-hmm. you know, I hopefully can get addressed. Um, this is what I, I just I've seen a lot of it, even in the last few days. So, if people are doing the bullying and they don't agree with who's rescuing what dog and whatever, I have two points. First, they should step up themselves and not complain after the fact, right? I mean, if, if the dog is going into a good home or a good foster, you know, who decides, you know, who decides what makes that other rescue bad because they might not, not necessarily know who the person is and but what gives them the right to start um, getting into their personal life. I've seen so much stuff posted about, you know, with the people's backgrounds and what they did 20 years ago and, and that's, yeah, that's kind of bad. Stuff that I can't stand because um, who cares what somebody did 20 years ago as long as they can take care of a dog. They can, you know, um, treat that dog with the respect and love it deserves. Like, who are you to develop, you know, get into somebody's background because everybody has something. And yeah, ever yeah, I agree. That's, that's my biggest issue that I've seen is, you know, I could pull up something and the Internet is full of a bunch of false information. I can make a website about anybody and put a bunch of information on there. It can be complete lies. And then when you're going to go look that person up, are you going to base what you're reading on this website to be factual and to be true and start spreading it all over Facebook as a fact? That's wrong. You know? Okay. Like I said, yeah. I yep. used to be friends. That's right. So, I was friends yep. with a group 
that was, you know, they consider themselves the rescue police, you know. And here's the thing. They do call out some bad people. I, I will say that. And I've seen some of these people step in and re-rescue dogs. And just because I have a personal dislike for that person doesn't mean I think they're a bad rescuer. That's something that I always want to make clear because just because I don't like them doesn't mean that they can't rescue dogs right. Just because I might think they're a bully and a complete asshole does not mean that they're not doing right by the dog. But by the same exactly, standard, they don't have any accountability of what they're saying to other people. I've seen both sides of this big war drama that's gone on. And the reason I kind of broke away from that group was because, you know, one person in particular, and she knows who she is in case she's with me, um, she asked me to attack one of my own friends. And that's not cool with me. And I was like, well, okay. you know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. In, uh, um, in an effort to be totally clear and, and transparent, uh, <laughs> who is that? You really want me to say? <laughs> I, I want you to say I have nothing to hide. I, I have I don't hold I, back. I don't see, you don't. Know I don't know this. If if you know if like I say, I'm trying to make everything better. It's yeah. I don't know. You don't have to, but I like no, you too. Who was it? Like I used to be Paula. I don't want to say friends. I, that's you said Paula happen. Archer. No, Paula's amazing. Oh, <laughs> I, you know. And damn, I like, didn't. Like know. I said, Okay. The rescue this person volunteers for, mm-hmm. um, they're a good rescue. They're a good rescue. People want to say, okay, the rescue is bad, and uh, this person volunteered for uh, Labradors and Friends. And you know what? They're a good rescue. I, I'm not going to say that they're a bad rescue. Mm-hmm. They're a volunteer, right? Save my um, life. Yep. It's mm-hmm. Sarah Edelman. You know, I'll say her name. Okay. And she knows it. Her and I have no love lost between us and we had a personal disagreement and then she starts posting all over the place oh you're just in love with kyle schwab and you know i mean that stuff is such silly shit oh, you in love with kyle schwab i'm in love with kyle schwab too not my type um not my type <laughs> either but you know i'm in love with you know, <laughs> no, so. and, and i'm not trying to start drama from that but I, right. i'm not gonna lie and i'm not gonna sit there and say you know, that she's a bad person when it comes to dogs. Uh-huh. Because I don't know that, you know, but they right. won't give me that respect. On that PM that you right. had, she's sitting there telling me, go walk your dog. And I'm right. like, why That's... would you say that? My dog's got a torn ACL. You know, her and I don't like each other, but I don't know what she's doing with dogs and what she's not doing with dogs. And just because I have a personal dislike for her, you know, I'll go on record and say, I don't know what she's really doing with the dog. You know, I don't, you know, I don't know her. I don't know her, mm-hmm. but so this, that's my point. You don't know me. I really don't know you. A Facebook conversation does not mean we know each other, right? right? right. No. And, and it became, because I'm the one who went to Lamore. I'm the one who told her, uh, like I told you, I'll, truth. Mm-hmm. You know, my, my, my problem is, like, I'll tell you, it's my problem, I'll tell you the truth. Mm. I've done shitty things when I was involved with her. Mm-hmm. Um, I own it. She doesn't. You know, I've said I've made those stupid screenshots with her. She doesn't own it. She doesn't have to. Mm-hmm. But the stuff with, like, you know, Marcy, Lamore, Dare, Kyle, this, it just needs to end. Mm-hmm. Own it, move on, let it go, get right. over it. Right. Right. And, and exactly. we are. All right. So, guys, I got to go. Um, and all my guests have arrived. And um, so I'm trying to get this going. I think we got Wendy. We, um, Wendy is coming up on the uh, Skype. She's got a okay. file. Here. Hey guys, so I'm sorry, Carrie. Oh no! Don't be sorry. You're you're awesome, Foster. Thank you. Dear. I love you to death. Thank you. I'm trying. I'm trying. And we're gonna have uh, Melina uh, come on in about a half hour, or an hour, or something like that. And but right now we're gonna. Have Carrie in um, Pittsburgh or Philadelphia or one of those cities back there where it's uh, colder than it is here. So, Carrie, I love you and keep watching and participating. And, you know, we're here for you at any time, okay? No problem. And thank you for everything that you're doing to help the pities. Hey, baby, we ain't going to let the dogs lose. That's regardless of all of this human drama is okay, but we ain't going to let the dogs lose. I, I got no. it. Okay. So um, I'm going to t- probably take a break so Chris can 
we can get all of this stuff together. So we're going to do a commercial, and we'll be right back. Lisa, uh, if you want, since you have a lot of information, if you want to yeah. just uh, stay on the phone and participate sure. yeah, in this absolutely. overall conversation, okay? Okay. All right. All right. We'll be right back in one minute, guys. I'll stay. All right. Okay. Hey, are you tired of those same old energy drinks with bad taste? Make a switch to Pitbull Energy Drink with a guaranteed no aftertaste. Pitbull offers more energy with ginseng and vitamins B6 and B12. With a ginger ale, lemon lime flavor, Pitbull meets the consumer's demand for better tasting and healthier energy products with a guaranteed no aftertaste. Make a switch to Pitbull Energy Drink. Pitbull offers more energy with ginseng and vitamins B6 and B12. With a ginger ale, lemon lime flavor, Pitbull meets the consumer's demand for better tasting and healthier energy products. For more information on Pitbull energy drinks, bars, and mixes, visit their website at hiphopbev.com. That's hiphopbev.com. Online orders available at hiphopbev.com. Look at me. All right, hey. Okay, we're back and we're black. All right. So uh, it's interesting. Everybody's uh, here, almost kind of sort of now. And we can't we can't get Paula back. Uh, oh, we got Wendy on, so we can't have Paula on. Dog on it. Okay. Uh, well, pa uh, Paula. Um, Jacinta. Um. Jacinta needs to call in now. Did, is Carrie still on the phone now? Mm -hmm. Or is she gone? She's gone, right? Okay. So that line is open. So, uh, Paula, if you could ask Jacinta or can you ask Jacinta to call in now? Okay, on that three. Okay, and that number you're going to call in on, dear Jacinta, you should be watching anyway. Uh, that would be, who is that? And, no, tell Carrie. No, no, Carrie needs to. She, she can't watch online. Okay. Uh, the number Jacinta is three two three nine six five sixteen hundred three two three nine six five sixteen hundred, and um, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, <coughs> so we're gonna go from here. Is Wendy there? I'm right here. Hey, Wendy. How are you, dear? I'm good. How are you? Good. Turn your camera a little bit so we can see you. Oh, turn, Sorry. Turn it around. Can you see me here? I'm, I'm actually driving. Okay. You might want to pull over because that's dangerous. Oh, no. I pulled over, but I'm, I'm driving. Oh, okay. That's all right. No. Turn up. Hold it. And tilt it down just a little bit, and we won't see the sunroof. And tilt, oh. tilt down just a little bit. Yeah. I'm such okay. I'm such a guy too, you know. If I got a choice of yeah, looking sure. at the sunroof or looking at a woman's neck, <laughs> uh, okay, oh, okay. Sun, sunroof gonna lose out every time. So anyway, here we are. Um, no, only we're gonna, you know, just keep moving now, guys. Since we got most of the players there's their phone. I think that might be her, Chris. Just sent us who we're waiting on, and then we're gonna, and Melina will come later into. Him. So anyway, so um, as I don't know if you guys were listening to the show before, but I was thanking the community for uh, participating over the last week. Uh, everyone has been so good to fill me in on 
a lot of the things and a lot of the issues that have been going on and we have within the community. This all started uh, with the whole uh, troll episode uh, that we have on the show uh, a couple of weeks ago, and everything has spiraled since then. And we're going to bring peace and love into the community. I don't know, um, in the studio, we have with us uh, on the other side, uh, you ready, Chris? I'm, I'm good. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so anyway, um, okay. All right. Take take your time. We're getting this all together in here, guys, because you know it's like, hey, in our studio. Just so you guys know, is it's you know buried in a hole deep behind the Hollywood sign. And, you know, not many people uh, are able to make it in here, and we are totally blessed when they do. So I will, I will uh, start off with just introducing the people that we have in the studio with us today. Uh, over on uh, across next to Chris is Lamore and... Sandra. That's what I said, Sandra. <laughs> All right, Sandra. And uh, next to me, we have... Sandra, that's what I said. (laughs) Sharon is over there, and Sandra Logan is here. No, Sandra's over there. Sandra over there. This is Sharon. Sharon Logan is over here. All right, and welcome. uh, Welcome. Thank you. Okay, so just so that everybody understands, Foster has no memory whatsoever. Okay, he was a 60s baby, so, you know. (laughs) Okay, so if I call you by the wrong name, Pardon me, it is not personal. I just um, we got phones, Chris. I'm sorry. And I think coming on the phone is going to be um, Jacinda. 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 That's what I said. Damn it, I almost got it right. Jacinda. That's Jacinda right there, right? Okay. Yeah. All right. So Jacinda, you can hold on the phone and just and listen until uh, yours come up. But all the players are here, okay? Okay. And. Um, Okay, when I, I my board up, I'm working in the desk. Just so you guys know out there, the, the you know, I don't have a budget and and I don't have a staff. Okay, Paula Archer is uh, the complete 100% staff on show days. Chris is in here, so anybody who wants to talk about, well, he could have his shit together. No, I couldn't. <laughs> okay, this is together, all right? Because the fact that you're watching it and we're all moving forward with this is technology and its finest. You know, you couldn't have had this 10, 15 years ago. So, um, I want to, Wendy, are you there? Yes, I am. Okay, I want to start off, like I was saying, um, the community as a whole has really, you know, this has been a nightmare for me, first of all, because there's a couple of little assholes who want to blame me for this. And ladies, I want to let you know, you know, first two th- couple things. I curse, so pardon me for that. You do, too. You do. You guys, you are. We're good with a curse. Okay, cool. All right. I got a room full of my kind of people. All right. So we're going to have some fun here. So, um and, um, you know, people have tried to blame me for what they've done in the history of uh, rescue and Facebook and different things. So I'm not the blame. I'm, I'm the solution. So uh, everyone has sent me all kinds of stuff. And we're going to end all of this stuff today because the dog's got to win. But, Wendy, we're going to take everybody's thing one by one. Lamar, if you can pardon me, we're going to deal one. Okay. And uh, just. Jacinda, right? Jocinda. Yes. Jacinda. Uh, Jacinda. I, I've been called other things. I know. <laughs> me and you both, baby. We can. We must be related then. You know, so they didn't use the N-word on you yet, though, did they? No. Okay, now I still got one up on you because I've been called bitch and everything wow. else. Yeah. <laughs> so, so here we go. Uh, I want to start off with... Um, um, Sharon... Yes. Ah, I got one right. <laughs> Sharon is here to, um, you know, she's she's got, sh- Sharon is sort of representative. Sharon can answer a lot of the stuff that happened on the other show or questions that were brought up or accusations that were made. Um, there's certain things that I will stop her from when I hear if it's, you know, because I don't know what she's going to say, but I, if it doesn't go in contact, you know, if... I think my thing is this. If you were mentioned two weeks ago 
and you don't have the balls to come and, you know, call in on the show, be on the show, come on Skype like Wendy is doing and stuff. I don't care what you think, you know, because, you know, if somebody accuses me of something then in the courts or in, on, in the police and I dodge the police, I don't want to go in for a lineup. I don't want to give any DNA. I don't want to send a picture of me. And they got a picture of the guy that, you know, actually, I had that uh, situation. I had thirteen thousand dollars taken out of my bank account at uh, Great Western Savings when there was a Great Western. And they tell her, told him it was me. I had to wait for two weeks for all of the crap to come back. And it wasn't a picture of me. It was a picture of some other dude. So, but I wasn't afraid. I went in and talked. So if you're afraid to come in and talk, then, you know, the hell with you. So, Wendy, let me ask you this. Oh, fuck. Okay, I can't. I got to have Wendy in order to start this thing. So if we can get Wendy back. Wendy, we're coming back for you. Pick it up your Skype. And let me see. Okay. okay. All right. It's coming, coming, coming. Hold on. You there? Is that there? Do, 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 do. Dun, 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 dun. You there? Oh, you there, Wendy? All right. Yeah, my son's doctor called. When he called, he kicked off my phone. kicked you oh, off my phone. Oh, okay. That's all right, man. Uh, you know, I'll always take second place to a, the doctor, you know? So, Wendy, okay. uh, and I don't know what the last thing you heard was, but uh, people, a lot of people have, um, you know, helped out with this whole thing. And with you... Um, you know, I've got a lot of people to say good stuff about what you've been doing and what you've been trying to do. But the one thing that kept coming back to me, and I'm going to turn it over to uh, Sharon in a second to, to um, you know, you guys, she's got what she wants to ask you. But the stuff that came back to me just with you seem to be if you could just t answer this for me, because it, it, it wasn't a lot of problems that people had. But. You you adopt dogs just for people who are just coming on. You rescue dogs out of Philadelphia, correct? Pencil. I've never rescued a dog in Philadelphia. Ever. No, I mean out of you. You're you're in Philadelphia, right? Or Pittsburgh? I'm, I'm in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. I'm out of Pittsburgh area. Okay, yeah, they all look alike to me. So that's right. See, that's why I don't rescue because I can't find my way around. The okay, so you are in Pittsburgh, and you've been pulling a lot of dogs from California, correct? I, I won't say a lot. I have pulled dogs out of California, and we've gone round and about about this on your show, right. on Facebook, or right. PM, everywhere. And the dogs that I have pulled out of there, and I have said to these people several, several times, is I've had several people from California contact me and ask me. And I said, well, and I, and I always say this. I have the PMs to prove it. I have emails of Texas. I always say, first, see what you can do with your people there. And then usually the day before the dog's getting put down or the day the dog's getting put down, and we've rescued some that the day the needle was going in the dog and that they were going to kill the dog. Um, and then we have stepped in. Right. Now, so, now but because I want to get it past me, I just had this question myself. I just wanted to, and I was just trying to recap so that people who don't know that are watching now, that don't know what the, all of this whole thing is about. But tell me this. Uh, that's like in the last two months, right, that I don't know how many, you know, dogs, because, again, that's why I'm going to give it to Sharon, because you guys know the rescue stuff. But this was the question that Foster and the show had based upon, you know, what you know, last week or you said and what has come back to me. Out of the last two months, it seemed to me that people wanted to know, like, where these dogs go, and they were asking just couldn't you show some record of where the homes that you put them in and or um, uh, the fosters or whatever. And I'm not sure how it all works, but is that a problem for you to do? Well, let me, let me tell you this foster. Sure. Um, I have a puller out there in California who contacted me mm -hmm. if I could help her because dogs are dying every day. Mm -hmm. And she asked me because she heard a lot about me 
And again, I just got set up here in Pennsylvania. I had two deaths in my family. My son's terminally ill, so I came back here, bought a house. I'm still getting, I was getting everything set up and everything. The girl contacts me, and I said, listen, I have a lot of contacts. I have a lot of networkers. I have a lot of people whenever I was, you know, I've done it for years. And I said, I'll try setting you up with people. But I physically, you know, right now, because I was still building at that point, I can't physically take them all at my house. So I, I contacted a bunch of people that I knew out there. She, I got her in contact with people, you know. And, again, this is a lot of networking and advocate, which people are all pointing the finger at me. And so Oh, no, people, no. Wendy, Wendy, dogs, I and, understand. And we, I'm, I'm not pointing I'm not the finger. You. I, that's from these people, from, the, from the, the thread thing. So when she pulls the dogs, a freedom pick is posted, you know, of the dog out of the shelter, a freedom pick. And if you go back, way back in the threads, and, and believe me, I have all the threads, and when you go back in the threads, we put where the dogs went, um, if it had medical, if it had pneumonia, upper respiratory, you okay. right, whatever, okay? Then when we post that, you know, the, again, we started getting slammed because where are you located? Right. Um, and then the person who was advocating for me said, well, she's out of Pennsylvania. And meanwhile, you know, we're, we're trying to network them in California because dogs, a lot of pit bulls have skin allergies. So we are trying to keep them in California. So then they just started, you're not even a 501C. Uh, well, yes, we are. So then we posted our 501C. Well, that's fake. Anybody can do that. And, and then they started bashing me, right. uh, printing my LinkedIn right. profile. But wait, you know, but, so wait, point, wait, wait. not 501C. But wait a minute. Is just send it. Wait, 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 guys. Wait a second. Okay, we're going to do this in an organized fashion today. For the most part, you know, I'm... Um, uh, Judge Judy Brown or whoever the hell it you know it is okay so we don't we're not what, we're not all going to talk really, to... you could really help if you would call the IRS right now mm -hmm. and ask the IRS if I'm a 501c so okay but but right, right but this is the thing I don't for me I the 501c doesn't mean Jack is what, what you is okay. what you're doing with the dogs is the only thing that's the, the matters you know in terms of I don't care if you're a five super 501c if you're not treating the dogs right it doesn't matter if you're not taking sick dogs and making them healthy if you're not taking the I dog out of the shelter and and awesome. giving it a home it doesn't matter my question Wendy simple so I can get out of this again I want to move on because uh, I'm not here from, you know, the uh, opposition from the other side. I just want one question answered. Can't, isn't it simple for you if these people ask you, where are the dogs at? And if you take dogs I will out. Supply you, I will supply it to you uh -huh. and show you where they're all at and how they are and all the vet bills. But there are certain people that I will not. Because these people, when I did supply it on two of the threads, mm -hmm. called the places where they were at and badmouthed me, threatened at me. No you shit. You wouldn't believe you worked at work damage. Okay, right that statement. makes sense. Okay, you answered sure. my question. Now, I'm done, uh, and I would appreciate... Ask one thing that is important for me and then Go ahead. Uh, for Wendy is, since you're an out-of-state rescue, right? And, and I've been on that thread when, when you wanted the mama and the dad and those eight puppies. Um, and I had two questions that... Um, I wanted to know from you whether, and, and I got blocked from asking you these questions. Aha. Uh -huh. um, now listen. Hey, you see, you know, Sharon, and, and, like, and, and, and I, is this Sharon? No, it's not Sharon. No, that's, no, that, no, no, no. That's Lisa. But I would like to know what your process Lisa, is for. It, for that, I, I hold it. Wait, 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 guys. Okay. Well, right, Lisa. I'm, I'm having a hard time hearing. That's why I said that. But okay. the mom and dad and the pit bulls, I never got, and you people accuse yeah, I know me that. of getting. I, I understand and, that. That's a moot point. I just had a question on, you know, if you're if you're an out of state rescue, and I've asked other other out of state rescues this question, one particularly lately, how are you placing a dog that's in California when you're in another state? Like who? Because if you, as an out of state rescue, were to place a pit bull into a home based on what maybe say a foster or somebody here that you trust, places that dog into another home in California versus you coming out here meeting the dog being hands-on with this dog, and you place that dog into another home and something happens with their child, whether that dog gets out and attacks somebody, it becomes a liability yeah, issue. Yeah, I understand. So, so no, my question well, is... Okay, and I, can, I can answer that to you. And I your, totally understand you. On? I totally understand that. They, The people who contacted me to help in California, 
there are several people and there is one person who does home inspections. I've even paired up with transportation companies and I've even done home inspections for transportation companies. So I have paired up with people that who can go out and check the people and check them out. I background check these people. I can actually, if you want to see my adoption um, contract, I can show you my adoption contract. We are very, very strict on it. We require years of vet references. We require personal references, business references. Okay. You know, and uh, I guess that's my big thing is I welcomed people who were who were like the, whatever the heck was going on. I welcomed people to call me, and I've had people call me. And when they call me, they like, oh, God, I feel so much better now. So I've asked some of these people that have been on there to personally contact me. I've showed them my adoption contract. I've showed them my, you know, everything, all, oh. all my paperwork. Cool. And they're like, okay. wow, I feel so much better. All right, now. Lisa, 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 you, uh, uh, you have to hold on, all right, because I'm trying to turn it over. Uh, to Sharon, who made the trip here from Orange County, and she's got... So, Sharon, take it away. Thank you, Foster, and uh, thank you for inviting me on the show and giving mm -hmm. us a forum and actually trying to make helpful, hopeful, positive, effective changes mm -hmm. in the rescue community because they are much needed. Um, I don't... Okay, here I go. I don't give a fuck if you're a 501c3, an independent rescuer. That's not what matters to me. I work with reputable 501c3s. I work with reputable independent rescuers. I will pull dogs for independent rescuers, I know. What I care about is the follow-up once the dog is out of the shelter. Out of the shelter doesn't equal safe. Out of the building doesn't mean they're safe, okay? Rescue doesn't start when you pull the dog. Rescue okay. starts when the dog is pulled out of the building and out of the shelter, is properly vetted, is put into a foster home, um, not thrown in boarding for three or four months and mm. wasting and rotting away, and then finally adopt it. That's rescue. Beginning can can, to can you show Foster your DNA list, Karen? And um, uh, so uh, my, Lisa, my, Lisa, Lisa, wait a second. Point, my let, point. let Lisa, we're going to talk one at a time, guys. We must, okay? Let Lisa talk until... Yeah. Okay. So my, my, Sharon, that's what I said. Jesus Christ. My point is when someone says, no, I'm not giving you the vetting information, you show one picture of the dog out of the building, that's it. There's no follow-up. There's no photos of the dogs at the vet. There's no photos of the dog in the foster home. And um, I'm not sure if some people will agree with me or not taking a photo of a dog on the lawn without no fosters there qualifies as showing right. them in a home. Right. Um, Yes, there's going to be red flag red flags raised, and there's going to be questions raised. So I know you're out of uh, Pittsburgh, and I mean, I have I've rescued dogs from Texas and Arkansas. I don't always rescue in my backyard. I try to rescue in my backyard first before anywhere else. Um, and I guess with you, Wendy, as I'm asking, you know, because I've received emails, and um, if you pull up the thread right now, uh, let's see. Can you pull up this hey, one? Hey, Wendy. Yeah. Okay, on my little notes of, you know, because I'm bad with notes, as Paula will tell you. Uh, and again, I've been all week, I'm trying to get to, on all of these, every every one of our guests that we had and, and are having. The other question that came to me was, where do you have your dogs listed for adoption? If you go on my website, yes. which I sent you, www.angelsjourneyhome.com, they mm -hmm. are on there. Um, okay. We also had a person, and a, I did explain this to everybody on there, sure. that I had had a little bit of delay. My son is terminally ill, and for the past oh, few I'm weeks, we've been that. dealing with between St. Jude's and Children's Hospital. And mm -hmm. I explained all that to those people that, you know, in between getting bashed all day on Facebook and then asking me why I will not stay on all day and right. have like a bashing session, exactly. I will not. That's I will, right. I will be at the hospital caring for my son and caring for the animals. That's and right. I just want I just want to say one comment because I do have a right to come back at this. Absolutely. Um, and, and I understand people's concern because I'm also concerned for these animals, and that's why I pulled them. Right. And so, you know, again, I've even I've even had people pull them and say, "Oh, please help!" Right after they pull them. So my compassion is 500 percent. And again, we could go back on the threads and we can argue back and forth, all of us. And I agree with Foster. I think it should be positive. I think it should all be about helping the animals. I had put my own personal thousands of dollars into saving these dogs out there because we lost the pledges because of all the ba uh, bashing. See, um, that's, it, that's it's the... funny that I, there's a PM out there about all the people who have been bashed, and they've all lost their pledges too because of it. 
and it's, it's again i'm not the only person but it's funny mm-hmm. because i believe in going forward and i believe in you know just making sure the dogs are okay and you know it kills me where you guys say we never told it we've taken several pictures the puller has several pictures mm-hmm. we posted them but the thing is on facebook there's several threads of one dog so you do get to jump the different threads to see what's going on with that one dog okay and again, hey, hey i hey. did stop posting hold on i get to say this yeah i did stop posting where they were at because whenever i got a private message and a letter in my personal mail right that said that i need to stop rescuing in california or my house with my retard son, which my son is mentally challenged, so I take huge offense to that, and my animals will be burnt to the ground. Oh, shit. So when you get something like that in a private message, you, and you your son threw. checks the mailbox, and he right. brings it up, and thank God my son can't read. So, I, yes, I did take it to the next step right. where I stopped posting things. That's right. Now, that makes sense, but uh, um, and, and I'm sorry to hear about that, your son. For sure, uh, you know, because that's stuff that kind of would turn one off from one to participate, period. That's why I say we're going to take the hate out of this whole conversation, guys. Uh, one second, Lamar. You yeah, wanna... I want to make a couple of points. Sure. First of all, you know, the, the rescue industry is the only um, industry that I've ever seen in my entire adult life where um, people expect you to disclose the ins and outs of, of your, your life. business yeah if you came to me in my ins- if my competitor came to me in my insurance agency for instance and asked me uh how i write a policy what i do how i file how i do that I-, I, w- I would look at him like he fell off a turnip truck right yet here we think it's acceptable the other thing that i wanted to say is that if you guys want transparency mm-hmm. then don't bash people when exactly. they are transparent sharon logan for That's instance right. has a nice long dna list yeah me listed on it a half a page of bullshit that she wrote me too. Okay. right came out of her imagination this woman i never met her i'm sitting in the room when i walked in i didn't even recognize her and yet she has a lot to say about me which i'd like to find out how and we're getting but and we're going to get to that you know where you guys can i want to get wendy off of the uh, skype phone skype and everything so so but your point is well taken uh, lenora let me uh say this so i'm going to give it back to sharon uh wendy hello here. oh nice haircut all right, <laughs> moving on. Go ahead, dear. Oh, uh, this is uh, like Comedy Central with Lamar. She's always <laughs> the victim, and it's always everybody else's fault. How um, do you know what I'm always? You've never I'll, met me. You've never you've seen never me. You've never me. spoken you've to never me. You've never met me, but you've put me on your Zygmunt Fraud Scams. You've put me on Stop the Rescue. First of all, Zygmunt Fraud police. Scams is not and, mine. Oh, that's Rescue that's Scams. Out with the re- no, it's it's okay. not. No, it's you've, not. Uh, put me on your your How own you know personal. Lamar, Lamar, let her let her talk, and then you. You're not the victim here. You're the instigator and you're the perpetrator. And everything that's no, happened really in the, and really? everything that's okay. happened okay. in the last liar. two years I mean, is girl. straight up because of you your doings, your actions. You okay, accused, wait a you second. A liar. Tony Time Jesus out for a second. Look, Lamar, she, hold on. You know, how she, okay. you hold on, guys. Wait a second. Hold on. Wait, guys, wait a second. I want one person to talk at a time so both of you can be heard. But this is, let me do this though first. Are we done with Wendy's conversation? Um, well, I, I, posted, do... I posted the screenshot where people were just asking her where all these dogs were, you know? Okay, Wendy. Okay, okay. I'm actually going to finish talking and get off Skype because my son's at the hospital. Right, really Wendy, Wendy, back. what are we going to do? Wendy, that's animals. right. Wendy, so that's I right. No problem. I will, sure. I will And you give it to me, yeah. I'm going to be the person because I'm in communication with everybody. I'm not going to allow you... In your resources, because as I understand it, every uh, rescue, the people that foster their animals are, is important to you. And that's the backbone. That's why I say I want to do a show, Foster on Fosters. I want to help you guys gain more fosters and educate the public to what fostering is about. So I will get that from you. We'll get these questions. You will uh, give that information to me. I will hold it in confidence and do whatever checking. If it needs to be a phone call made, I will make it in confidence without those people getting five and ten calls and bashing you and all the other yes, stuff that goes with that's it. That's what happened. Was oh, I'm sure that's understandable. When I did when I when I did post it, Foster. Yes. He like the one guy got like ten phone calls and then they turned on him. A right. trainer who was training a dog. 
Then they started turning on him. He was ready to tell me, screw the dog, and he don't want to train it. Exactly. Because of and how that, he got passed. And that is totally that's understandable. That's right. And that is totally understandable, Wendy. And I'm really glad that you came on to help explain this because this is the thing. If you're doing great work, we want to salute you and support you. If you are stealing or lying and the dogs are hurting, then we want to shut you the fuck down. You know, plain totally and simple. Agree, you know, so. Me. But let me say two things before I go. Sure, go right um, ahead. One, y'all people said that we collect pledges. Um, we miss so many pledges because of all the bullshit drama and my own personal money, which I have proof of it out of my bank account, paid for all the stuff. Two, y'all say that I'm not a 501c. Well, why don't you get your happy asses calling the IRS? Because Foster right here, and I don't like swearing, but yeah, you know I what? do. Foster, yeah. you can call the IRS right now. I sent you a copy of my 501, and you can call the IRS right now, and they will verify that. I, I know you say it doesn't matter. Yeah. It matters when you people accuse me of not being one, and yes, that's I right. am one. That's so right, and, that, and, that's under, and that, that question is gone because we, we can take care of that. But somebody's calling a, a bunch of times that want to ask one question. I don't know who that is. Before you go, Wendy, what is your question? Who's on the line? Hey, it's Maria Sanchez. How you doing? Oh, Maria Sanchez. How are you, Maria? I'm good. Good. You got a question for um, um, Wendy? Yes, I sure do. Okay, um, this is the last question. We end this up. Go ahead, ahead there. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Maria. Um, you say you have the dogs listed for adoption on your website, but when I went there, yes. um, it's exactly what it was in May. It's just a... Uh, a picture of each dog in their freedom picture and their name. There's no age. There's no listing of anything, no bio about them. So how do people if, know if you they're still available? You have to go back the on because if you go on and look at Hibu, Hibu is my website people May. who did my website. And I know when you log in there, she had a problem. And I have all my notes that went through because I text her all the bio. So I apologize if she didn't fix it again. Because it kept going back to what it was, which I will call her today and look at it. But I also have two people that were getting it on Pet Finder and Adopt a Pet because and we do have fosters, everybody. But you have to understand something, and I did say this. Things happen in personal life, and so my son's terminally ill. Right. In the past you three to four weeks, I've been dealing with a lot of my son so and making sure these dogs are taken care of. Son is an excuse. I'm sorry that your that son is, is sick, but right now and I will be hanging it. up, Foster. Maria, that's after, disgusting. This, this Stop is, it. Right. I, no, this is part of Maria why the people threatened to kill my son. Right, right here, Foster. Right. I'm not threatening to kill your son. I want to know where these dogs are. That's it. I Stop said, I will up send Foster a good All we're asking about is proof right. of right. Hey, every Wendy. dog. I will not give it to you people who threaten right. my life, my child, and my son. Right. And from all the DMs that I'm getting message. right now on Facebook, it wasn't just me who was threatened. There was about 82 people being threatened by you people. Right. So, now, Foster, okay. right. I do have to get going. So yeah, yeah Wendy, Wendy, I appreciate your taking the time to participate. I will... I will uh, follow up with you. We'll get that information. And, and I good luck with you. That I have looked at her website, mm -hmm. and it's so funny because the, the people that she shows on her website that are, like, happy and adopted, those, if you do a Google search for dogs, she took those pictures off of Google Images. Those oh. on her happy oh, adopted. Oh, you're so full of shit. Those are pictures. Here it is, Foster. This is the bullshit drama. Yeah. Those pictures are dogs that were saved from a shelter. Yeah. They're full yeah. shit. But not your right show. there is lots of bullshit, okay. Foster. Okay. Hey, that hey, we Wendy. Deal with on Facebook. This is and wonderful. I have proof Wendy, listen. Those that's right. Are from the pool. That's right. When we're gonna get with that, I'm. Gonna, we're gonna follow that. Follow up. You go and deal with your son right now. Thank you so much. We're gonna move on. And um, um, uh, Maria. I'm going to look at the, I'm a, I'm a picture expert, me in Google search. I'm going to send you, I'll, I'll, I'll PM you the, um, the picture exactly okay. that I'm talking right. about. Okay, all right, so, uh, um, Wendy, thank oh, you so God. much, and, and I'm sorry about the, your son, and, her yeah, go. Her website is not, is, it's, it's just like a whole facade, it's fake. Okay, so and if that, that proves $1,000 for that website, um, so the website is legit. Okay, no problem, listen, as I said. 
We're going to do the follow-up. I'm going to work. We're all working together to get to the right thing. And Wendy, I deeply, deeply, deeply apologize about anything with, I, you know, it, the dogs is the matter here. The kids, that's personal. Right. Your family, your and mama, your sister, all of that shit. I screw it after Wait. all this bashing right. and let the dogs go back well, to I'm the saying, shutter, and I didn't, and I hung on right. in saving these dogs. Absolutely. So I'm saying to you, uh, you know, thank you for that, and you deal with the kid, what we're going to do. I, you know, and I don't, I'm not in the kid conversation. I don't even want to have kids. I, I mean, we deal with anybody's kids. What I'm saying is that, Wendy, if what you're saying is all true and factual and it's stuff that's been looked yeah, over, then I'm going to make sure that everybody gives you a on-air apology after we clear the air on this, because that's the only thing that's right. And if you're lying and bullshitting me and my audience and everybody, then we will hang you out to dry. So I say thank you so much, Wendy, and it's a pleasure. And keep working for the dogs, man, okay? All right, thank you, Foster. Okay, take care. And we, what now? right now, uh, we're going to let Wendy go. We're going to bring Paula back in uh, and um, we're going to take one minute break because I need to keep the lights on. I pay for the studio time. They pay for the light bill. So we're going to take one 30 second, one minute break. And um, I'll take my 63 year old ass to the bathroom. Bye y'all. Pitbull energy drink. of those same old energy drinks with bad taste? Make a switch to Pitbull Energy Drink with a guaranteed no aftertaste. Pitbull offers more energy with ginseng and vitamins B6 and B12. With a ginger ale, lemon lime flavor, Pitbull meets the consumer's demand for better tasting and healthier energy products with a guaranteed no aftertaste. Make a switch to Pitbull Energy Drink. Pitbull offers more energy with ginseng and vitamins B6 and B12. With a ginger ale, lemon lime flavor, Pitbull meets the consumer's demand for better tasting and healthier energy products. For more information on Pitbull energy drinks, bars, and mixes, visit their website at hiphopbev.com. That's hiphopbev.com. Online orders available at hiphopbev.com. <laughs> 